Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. This week we're talking about a shocking incident in Florida, a homeowner fired shots at a couple's car, after they mistakenly turned into his driveway. Thankfully, no one was injured, but this story is a stark reminder of how quickly a situation can turn dangerous, and it could have had a much more tragic outcome. The incident happened on April 15th in Southwest Ranches, Florida, which is an upscale neighborhood outside of Fort Lauderdale. Valdis Thomas Jr., 19, and his girlfriend, Diamond Darville, 18, were making a late-night grocery delivery when they went down a dark, unlit street and mistakenly turned into an area where the shooter stored excavation equipment. The couple and the homeowner gave conflicting versions of what happened next, but we do know that the man drew a handgun and fired at the car's tires, which then sped away. When the police found the couple, Darville was crying and Thomas appeared extremely nervous and scared. There were two bullet holes in the car's bumper and one tire was flat. The police closed the case without consulting the state attorney, and returned the shooter's gun to him. But the story didn't end there. The Broward County State Attorney Harold Pryor, who had been unaware of the incident until contacted by a reporter from WTVJ-TV, then requested a full investigation. What's worrying about this case is that if the situation had been handled differently, if anyone had been injured, and if the police had consulted the state attorney, this incident could have spiraled out of control. We've been hearing stories of people mistakenly turning onto the wrong property, or mistakenly getting into the wrong cars all over the US. Just recently, one person has been killed and several others injured. This is a reminder to all of us, to take the utmost caution when driving late at night, in dark or unfamiliar areas and to drive responsibly and cautiously. So let this be a lesson. We all know danger can strike at any given moment, but if we stay aware and look out for one another, we can all stay safe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.